coverage you can count on. This is Way 31 News Mornings. I'm tracking the chance of rain as we head into Christine. the rest of the afternoon. I'll have the latest coming Grace up. Anello. And your best way traffic. First A major disruption for some wireless users, the effect on cell phones and what AT&T is saying about it. And the winter storm review. The action Huntsville leaders are about to take in the wake of that winter storm shutdown that we experienced in January. And we're uncovering new information on a man arrested for shooting at deputies while trying to run away. Why that man may not be leaving jail anytime soon. And developing news at midday, rescued from a burning home, we're live on the scene in Decatur, where one person had to be hospitalized after an early morning house fire. Now that fire rescue tops Way 31 News at midday. I'm Demetria Green. And I'm Chris Tate. I'm one person, as you said, rescued from that burning house on 9th Avenue Southeast in Decatur. Uh, they are right now in the hospital. And Way 31's Charisma Thrash joins us live right now. So Charisma, you've been talking to firefighters and neighbors about that victim in this morning's fire. What are you learning? Chris, Demetria, it is very active here in Decatur on 9th Avenue. As we're learning that one victim was pulled from a burning fire this morning and neighbors are shocked to tell us they're really just shocked overall to know what happened to their neighbor. Now, I will say that firefighters arrived just after 6.30 this morning. And again, when firefighters came to the home, they found it engulfed in flames. Now, the fire department's deputy fire marshal says one man was in the home. Again, they pulled him from that burning home and rushed him to the hospital. We don't know the extent of his injuries. Right now, the state fire marshal is investigating how the fire started. So we're going to continue to work to get that information and again, keep you all updated, not only on air, but online with those developments in this case. Live indicator with coverage you can count on. Charisma Thrash, Way 31 News. Charisma, thank you. Right now, we got cloudy skies in advance and some rain headed our way. So we do want to go ahead and take, check in with Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik. Well, you can tell from the camera behind y'all that it's a little breezy outside today and we will continue to see those winds pick up and the chance of rain picking up as well. This is 430 this afternoon, rain moving into the Tennessee Valley that will continue into the evening hours tonight ahead of that cold front that will move through. Now ahead of the cold front, we could see a couple of storms and some of those could be on the stronger side. But the good news is the rain's out of here as we head into your Friday and we're looking at a better weekend ahead. Now here's the latest on today's severe weather threat. We have that level one risk for you out in the shoals for the chance of some gusty winds as these storms move through. So that's something we'll keep an eye on as we head through the rest of the day today. But a look at 31 triple Doppler right now and things are quiet across the Tennessee Valley for the time being. But again, that will change as we head towards the later afternoon. Temperatures are in the lower 60s for much of the area, upper 50s in Fort Payne and Gunnersville at this time. We won't get as warm today as what we've seen over the past couple of days. And a check of your threat tracker shows that rain moving in this evening. Better conditions, though, return as we head towards the weekend. I'll break down this threat of some showers and storms, and we'll talk about next week's threat coming up in just a couple of minutes. And thank you, Amber. Well, that big winter storm that shut down much of North Alabama will be a very big focus at tonight's Huntsville City Council meeting. And Way 31's Georgia Clark right now in studio with a look at what city leaders are doing tonight to improve for future winter weather emergencies like that one. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Chris. Hey, Demetra. Well, they were quite vague in the agenda on exactly what review of winter weather response entails and what they will be focusing on. But we do know the city has been facing heavy criticism for what some feel like was a poor response to the weather event that shut down the city for almost a week. City Councilman John Meredith was calling on the city for a, to form a winter weather task force to improve communication, but no concrete plans have been made just yet. I have reached out to the city council for some clarity on what this review is about, but I have yet to hear back from them. Also tonight, the council will be recognizing the work of the Public Works Department for their efforts to clear streets during that weather event. With coverage you can count on, Georgia Clark, Way 31 News.